Hello crochet friends, welcome back. We're working on our pretty little basket. We ended last time with round four. We got our little baubles all done and we're gonna get started with round five and our bulk today. So we're gonna yarn over and pull through for a chain one and turn our work. So what we're going to do for five, it's gonna be very similar to um, round three, um, except we start out with this one with a single crochet in our slip stitch. So this was our first slip stitch from the last round. So we're going to enter, yarn over and pull through, and yarn over and pull through two for a single crochet. And then we want to slip stitch at the top of our berry, right? So enter, yarn over and pull through, and pull through again. That gets us to the same height. And then we're going to find our little slip stitch in there again, which I'm hoping mine are a little looser this time. I don't know. This one, not proving to be so well, but okay. Single crochet in the slip stitch. And then the top of the berry gets another slip stitch. We're gonna do this all the way around. It's going to give us 60 again, right? And then this is my slip stitch. I'm giving it a single crochet. And then the top of the berry, a slip stitch. So this will, like I said, it will get us all to the same height here. This is my single crochet. We're gonna have 60 all together. And now this is the end of the repeat section. So single crochet here. So what will happen now is I'm going to set you free and we're going to do rounds two, three, four, and five. So this is single crochet here. And we're gonna repeat those three times. And that's the height I'm going to make my basket. Now, should you want yours taller or shorter, you can adjust your repeats, but it needs to be the four rounds in order for the pattern to come out correctly, okay? Um, and I just wanna stress that if you stop midway, you won't have like your structure here correct to make the next round of baubles or what have you. Um, so you have to do the four, the four go together. They're, they're a matching set. <laughs> they all go together um, and so Whatever you decide to do, if you want to only do the repeat twice, or if you want more, you, then you'll need to add on there, okay? So I just wanna make sure that you understand to get the proper pattern, you need to do that four round repeat, okay? So this, like I said, is um, round five. I messed that one up. Now I might have a little stringy there. Try not to hit those baubles. Uh, I know, I think I've done it a couple of times now and it pulls the string out. I'm trying really hard not to mess them up, right? Okay, and, and I think this one at the top of the, of the little bobble is the one that gets me every time. And I don't know, I guess it's just me being sloppy and they take my time and, and I need to be neater, don't I? Okay, this is my single crochet. All right, so we're going to do this all the way around. Like I said, this is round five. And what's gonna happen is I will put down in the description of this video, I will put all the directions for two, three, four, and five, so you don't have to go back hunting for them um, to repeat for your repeat sections here. Okay, so what we'll do is when we meet up next time, working on this pretty little basket we'll start the handles okay so this is kind of like a little bit of homework um <laughs> i know it's been a long time since i've had homework but um this will you know it'll take some time it's i like this basket a lot i think this is going to be beautiful and fun but i do believe that in order for it me to make it neat. I need to take my time. Um, I don't want to mess up my little baubles, but it's, you know, put on a cup of tea and maybe a little show on the TV and go to town, right? I don't feel like it's a um, terribly hard pattern to follow. I don't know what you think about that. Um, I feel like once you get going on it, it's 
it's pretty easy to follow, um, but just we just need to take our time. So I like how this is working up. I'm trying to get these. I still, you know, I, I made those. I tried to make those loose in there, those slip stitches from the prior rounds, round, but they are still a little tough to get in there. Some of them are better than others, but so like I said, this is round five. We're going to keep trekking along. So when I am done with this, I'm going to go back to round two. Okay, so start with round two. Round one gave us our foundation because of what we were working with before. We had done our pretty little ridge there and we needed our foundation. Okay, so when we go back to round two, if you remember, it was turn your work, slip stitch into the first stitch, um, and then bury in the next in the single crochet, right? So that's what we're going to work on. And so the next little round here will be berries, okay? So I'm going to keep going with this until I get to the end. And I will see you there and we'll get started on our berries. Here we go. Okay, I am at the end and I'm going to join up my first stitch with a slip stitch. Okay, that finishes up round five. And that is the end of our repeat because two, three, four, and five are our repeat. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to round two. So we're gonna turn our work just like we were doing. I'm going to bring my yarn around, turn my work. Okay, and what I want to do is a slip stitch in the first stitch and then we want to do a berry in the single crochet. So first stitch was right here at the top of the berry. Give it a slip stitch. And now this was my single crochet, right? So I'm going to give it a berry. So yarn over, enter, yarn over and pull through. Do your chain one, yarn over, Enter again, yarn over and pull through. I have five, pull through all five, chain one, slip stitch in the slip stitch. Okay, which I'm hoping are not gonna be as tight as they were the last time. I really tried to go, you know, a little bit looser. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna go into my single crochet and do another berry. And we're gonna do this all the way around. We're gonna repeat two, three, four, and five, okay? Just make sure you're getting all those rounds. And then when we meet up, we'll start working on our handles, okay? So take your time with all of this. It's gonna be fun. Have a good time with it, relax, and make your stitches as smooth as consistent as you can. All right, and I will meet up with you for handles. I'll see you then. Thank you and have a joyful day.